Okay, just give me a circle. Give me a circle. Give me a circle. A nice circle. A nice circle. I want you to take a minute and just think. Um, think about somebody on the team, somebody who is impactful to you on this team. So you have a bracelet that has your initials on it. So you're going to go up to somebody, you're going to say, Giselle, you are strong, right? And I've got you. I'm going to start with rock. You're going to start. Bree, your energy is contagious. You are a blessing to have on and off the field. We're going to do this. Right, how about we do this? Oh, there yeah. we go. Okay, very impactful, and I know you always have my back. <laughs> Okay, I'll even give you a hug. <laughs> <laughs> and I gotcha. <laughs> there was never a moment where I didn't want to play. I've always wanted to play, and even when my last game was over in college, I still wanted to play. I was sad that I had to walk away from that game that I loved so much, and the way to stay in the game was to become a coach. I grew up in a small town in Northern California called Sonora, California. I had uh, wonderful parents that were supportive and loving. I had a brother, a younger brother. Only had a few sports to play, so I played everything I could. Did everything that you could do, which wasn't much. Hey, know your situation, yeah? Explode off that backside to go run as well. No, 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 no. I've always loved softball. The first time I played the game, I just knew that it was, it was a great sport. Just the hand-eye coordination, the strategy, the competitiveness, and being able to be out there with 10, 15, 20 other people. It's just, there's nothing like it. I don't think it's by mistake that God has has put me in a position to be single without children because I am truly available to my girls and they truly are my family. I don't have immediate family close. No, 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 no. I think I just burned my belly. No. <laughs> <laughs> When I went to college, I was in search of a family and because I was very close to my family growing up. And so if you, we can create that family atmosphere, it allows them to, to grow and to trust each other uh, and to be able to just take risks and fail and not worry about it and know that, that someone is there to, to pat them on the back and say, you know, good job, you can do it. <laughs> I have been able to watch girls from all walks of life come into our program, some who have never gone to church, some who have been a few times and know a little bit, some who say, yeah, I have a relationship, but they don't, they have never done anything about that. They've never really pursued the relationship. And I've watched these all these different girls come through the program and at the end, some of them come up and said, thank you, thank you for introducing me to Jesus. Or thank you, thank you for giving me an opportunity to, to just learn more and to understand and to be open to that. I've watched them give their lives to Christ. I I got to baptize five of them in Cuba. Being able to baptize those girls or just be part of that was the most one of the most moving things I've ever been able to be a part of as a coach. I would do anything for that moment.